this is always a really busy day for firefighters. Crews across the state have to stay ready for the fires and injuries that can come with 4th of July celebrations. Our Kelly Vaughn spent the day with the White Lake Fire Department to see what kind of calls they had coming in. Go ahead, Jim. For the White Lake Township Fire Department, the 4th of July has been relatively calm. We are always worried about saying it's calm. It is a bit of a jinx for us. Captain Steve Hanneman has been with the department for 23 years, and he's seen most everything the 4th of July can bring. We've run into uh, structure fires from fireworks that land on, on people's roofs, minor um, burns from fireworks. We've had uh, fireworks that people think that they are they're spent or used and they weren't out, they throw them in the garbage and their garbage cans would catch on fire, which would be by their homes. They got a call from someone worried about the amount of smoke they were seeing from what looked like a burn. There are rules to open burning, so we're gonna respond to this and see what they're burning, make sure they're within the, the legal limits of open burning. And uh, if they are, we typically let them continue unless there is a medical um, issue behind the complaint. The burn turned out to be safe and legal. Captain Hanneman says with all the rain we've had lately, they aren't too worried about brush fires. He says most days they actually respond to more medical calls than fire calls and expect the 4th of July to be the same, especially with so many people out in the heat celebrating. As I like to refer to them, adult beverages, that is a dehyd it'll dehydrate you. So not hydrating properly, being in the heat all day could cause us injuries. Captain Hanneman says even after today, many people will to shoot off fireworks. He reminds everyone to always submerge your fireworks in water before throwing them in the trash. Reporting in White Lake Township, Kelly Vaughn, CBS News, Detroit.